now, what is up? What is all going on today? D Smooth is coming back at you. Been away for a while. I was sick. But while I was sick, I said, you know what? I'm going to take this time. Take advantage of it. Go and reevaluate all the soaps that I've used and pick out my top 10. That is correct. And I'm holding the camera because I'm showing you I got soaps everywhere. I got it here, I got it hanging on the door over here, I've got more soaps over here, I mean I even got soap over here in the corner. Just letting you know people, this was tough. This was real tough. This was one of the hardest things I have tried to do. So like I said, welcome to the D Smooth. Smooth shaving show. So excited to be back with you. Sorry, the camera's all crooked here. But we'll get through it, people. Huh? Hope everyone's doing well. Had a great day and a great shave. I'm just so excited to bring this to you. Now, this is my take. Okay? This is my top ten. What I go to and what I like to put on my face majority of the time. There's stuff that could have been... I could have done a top twenty. I mean, there, I was mixing and matching. I was saying, no, this one, but this one's got more protection. But this one's more slick. But I, I like I like the post shave. You know what? It is what it is. You could agree. If you don't agree, it's all good. It, it, this is all subjective. So without further ado, without further ado, let's get right into it. Drum roll, please. Number 10. Number 10 is Tiki Bar Soap Vegan Style. Now this is one of the vegans that I prefer from their tallow. I've tried both. This is their Surf Sup. This one smells really good. It's got a really nice scent to it. So in a tin, Tiki Bar Soap gives a great shave. It's nice and slick. It has it all there. Moving on, I'm gonna do this quickly. I don't want to do this long, ongoing video, so I'm just going to give it to you straight, party people. And for a lot of my viewers out there that have waiting for this, here's, this is for you. Coming in at number nine, Crown King's Shaving Soap, the Cocum Butter Formula. Now, this is their steeplechase. Great cologne scent. This is, I prefer this over the Phoenix Formula. That's why it creaked up at number nine. And a lot of these soaps just miss barely. Okay? But the Crown King, the butter formula, is my number nine soap. Good stuff, man. Good stuff. Let's keep it moving, shall we? At number eight, Ocho. Tim's soap. Now I know this guy is stopped, is gonna be stopped making soaps. That's why I was kind of debating to put him in here because you can't get it. But I figured you have to put Tim's in here. This is their clean cut, like their barbershop scent. All of their scents have been great, by the way. It's a clean, classic soap formula. I mean, it gives me a great, slick, cushiony shave. Always turn to Tim's when I'm looking for something that I know I'm going to get a great shave for. At number seven, people. Seven. Here we go. This might be a surprise to a lot of you people out there. But for me, I really enjoy this soap. And I only have one of them. And that's Mickey Lee Soap Work. Mickey Lee, this is their Kokomo. It's like this pina colada coconut tropical. Man, it's so good. I definitely, I mean, this is their dark horse to me. I mean, I, I switched around places. I had it at number nine and that's like no but I really get good shaves for me and this is for me I mean I really get good shaves with the Mikey Lee so this one clocks out at number seven Mickey Lee soap work oh man down to the six we're down to the six bad boys here now this one really blew me out of the water when I um, tried it and I loved it. Six, number six, Shaver Heavens 
the new formula, the extra slick one. This is their summer breeze. This one is a great scented soap. Oh man, it's just got an excellent formula in there. It's got the uh, Tessa Silk. You want a slick soap, you get your hands on Shaver Heaven. You're not going to go wrong. My number six pick, Shaver Heaven, the new formula. Okay, moving on. Number five. Number five. This should be no surprise to anybody. I think this is on anyone's top ten. Cold River Soap Works Select. I believe this is their lavender scent. Very nice, clean. The Cold Rivers, you get a great, luxurious shave. You really feel like you're using $60 soap when you're not. Um, this is a really great soap. I know I always will get a great shave with Cold River Soap Works. And that's why it's sitting at number five. Number five. Right? Right. Cold River Soap Works, number five. And these are in order, by the way. I'm not saying one's better than the other, but this is what I prefer. So I'm not saying you can switch either out. I'm not saying that, because a lot of people do that, and I don't like that. You put them in order for a reason, at least in my opinion. Number four is a classic. It should be in everyone's den. They make so many different types of scents. I personally enjoy it a lot. And that is Sterling Soap Companies. And this is their Sharp Dress Man. I used it so much I had to buy another one and I just plopped it right in there. So it's, it's rather protruding. But love Sterling. You can get any kind of scent. It's my best bar. I mean, aside from Razor Rock, this is one of your best bargain soaps you can get out there. But it doesn't feel bargain. Definitely love my Sterling soap. It's sitting at number four. All right. We're getting to the top three. I'm excited. Now, this soap is near and dear to my heart. It's one of the three soaps that I first purchased. And... I really compare a lot of things to it. It's a vegan formula, which is rare to me because I like tallow. But a vegan formula has made it into my top three. And I love this company. I love the people, I love the customer service. Number three, Soap Commander. And this is my favorite scent from them, the Passion. Great, tiki, teak wood soap, teak wood, like that teak wood scent. This soap does phenomenally well for me and my water and my shaving style. I just shaved with it today. I shaved with the Wisdom today. I got a great, glorious shave. That's why Soap Commander is at number three. Number two, 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 two. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep this under 10 minutes, so I'm going to hurry this up. Number two, a soap that I tried late in my shave experience just because I heard so many good things about it and it didn't let me down. I love this soap. Coming at number two, Barrister and Man. This is the Adagio. Great scent, masculine cologne type scent. Love me some Barrister and Man. It is thirsty, but once you dial this soap in, it's going to be your top performing soaps. Believe you me, I'm telling you. Dial this soap in. Barrister and Man, it's going to be your go-to soap. That's number two. Now, number one. Can there only be one, baby? Just like the Highlander said, there can only be one. Now, this is going to probably throw people off. I don't care. It's number one to me. Every time I use it, I get a phenomenal shave. I love this formula. It's a tallow-based formula. And that is none other. Can you dig it? I can dig it. Number one, Mike's Natural Soap. There it is, people. Number one on D Smooth's hit list. And this is their black pepper, orange cedarwood. Oh, it's so freaking awesome. Um, 
And this is going to shock a lot of people because not a lot of people would have this number one. They probably got it. Three, four, maybe not in there at all. But for me, Mike's natural. And any of these can have been shifted. It's just my personal preference. And a lot of them did make the shuffle, like the Katie's Bubbles. Um, it is, but I don't go to it as much as you would think. And like Soap Smooth almost made it. Vanule almost made it. Um, PAA didn't make the cut. I just don't, and I have a lot of those soaps, but I, don't, I just don't see myself grabbing it all the time. This is the soaps that I grab all the time, and those are the ones that I try to mix and match and create a top 10 for me. So that is my top 10 soaps. Hope you guys enjoyed. From 10 to 1, that is the show. Hope you guys had a great time, and I hope you guys like my picks. If not, Go make yourself your own video and pick your top 10. I'll be, like, I'll be glad to hear it, but those are mine, people. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time, respect yourself, respect the day, respect others. Until then, stay smooth.